Wow, what a sound. So regardless if we're talking about the velvet quality of a clarinet, the purity of a flute, the dark resonance of the brass, or the characteristic tone of the percussion instruments, essentially we're talking about the first thing that people perceive when they hear someone playing, and that is their sound, the quality of their sound. Now listening is a great way to do that, just as I'm doing here listening to the Chicago Brass Listening and immersing yourself into the world of great players is a fantastic way to evolve your sound and to get that characteristic tone that we're all looking for. Now, the famous tuba player Arnold Jacobs once said, tension kills sound. So let's examine a little bit of what he's getting at with that. I think the first thing we talk about as wind players is just this idea of a natural pendulum of the inhalation and exhalation without any kind of tension involved with that. Once we can get that going, then be aware of tension that might creep into any other parts of the body, into the throat, into the chest, even into the hands as we're playing. For percussionists, careful with the tension on your sticks or your mallets and how that might impact your sound. For woodwind players, careful how much tension is coming onto the reeds themselves. For double reed players, um, clarinet, saxophones, very important that we keep that embouchure nice and relaxed to allow for our best tone quality. What about the equipment that we're using? That's huge and that will impact your sound. Obviously, we talked about getting the embouchure correct, but what about the mouthpieces that we're using? And what about the reeds and the ligatures? That's important and that's gonna impact your playing as well. Obviously, the mouth cavity, the oral cavity, as we're trying to create the sound is crucial. The, the openness, the vowel choice, all of that will, will play into it as well. In the school setting, make sure that your instrument is working correctly, uh, that all slides and movable parts are in working order. And what is the quality of your instrument? Is it a student model instrument? Is it a professional quality instrument? All of those things will certainly impact your sound. For percussionists, other than uh, tuning or preparation of the instruments, what type of mallet are you using? Is it a soft, medium, or hard? Does that create the type of sound that you're looking for in that particular kind of piece? How is your snare drum set up with the tuning or all the parts aligned to give you that best tone? Where do you strike on the instrument? Uh, where do you strike the timpani drum to get that best sound, the best resonance? Uh, where are you striking on the marimba bars to get the best tone quality and pulling out the sound? So those are all some things that we can uh, look at, certainly, in our playing. Um, keep listening. That's, that's huge. Listen, find a favorite artist or uh, someone that plays your instrument that you're in love with, that has a beautiful tone that you'd like to emulate. And keep making sound a priority in your playing from note one of your day on your long tones, right through your etudes and right through your piece, the pieces that you're playing. Keep making that a priority. And before you know it, your tone's going to improve and you're going to love what you hear. Thanks, folks. And we'll see you next time.